I just got back from a longer than expected stay and my electric car has been unplugged now for 57 days. Will it start up? Bigger question is, will your electric car start up? Hi, I'm Jordan from the Plug-in Airport and I'm going to break down how long you should expect an electric car to stay charged or be able to start up again if it's been parked for a long time. So I'm at my local airport right now, so perhaps you had to leave your car for a long period of time and you come back from your flight, you want to know if you'll be able to start up or not. Well, the great thing about electric cars is most likely it will. Rule of thumb is that a lithium ion battery loses a few percentage of total charge per month but it really depends on the make and model of your car and its battery management system. So, but for me, my car isn't parked here, it's parked back at home. So let me take you back home and give you some more information on how long you should expect your battery to stay charged for, for extended periods of time. Just got back home and this car is filthy. 57 days of dirt and grime and rain and bird poop on it everything's on here like a traditional combustion engine it's a 12 volt battery that usually fails and that's the same with an electric car that 12 volt battery can kill you because it's just not made to sit that long but the nice thing about electric car is is that the battery management system will use the lithium ion traction battery to top up the 12 volt lead acid battery so a traditional gasoline car doesn't have that ability to do that, right? So that's why your lithium ion battery will tick down a lot. Sometimes it'll also tick down because the car is using some internal functions. Very low voltage, but over time that can also bring the percentage down on the battery. Battery management system on these cars is very state of the art. Older electric cars weren't always good about being stored long-term periods. Like the Jaguar I-Pace, they had an internal software glitch that kind of caused the battery to drop a few per percentage points a night not good they have since fixed that but new cars were great but you gotta check your owner's manual for your electric car they're all different right let's get back to my car and let's see if it starts up right now because to be honest i can't wait to see if this thing starts up one second <laughs> all right before i start up though i got me i am nervous Last time we left the car for a long period is one month and it didn't start up. Is what happened was the 12 volt battery died. One of the internal walls inside of the battery failed. So I had to bring the tow truck driver out here to jump me. And what I ended up doing is having to change up my 12 volt battery. Once it started up, the lithium battery is essentially where I left it. So hopefully there's no problems with my 12 volt battery this time. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. 57 days. Does it start up? Look at that. Good morning, car. So we are at 87%. I think I left about 98%. So that's about right. Let's talk about other cars. What happens to other electric cars? So if you want to know how long your electric car can sit for a long period of time, you got to check your owner's manual. It spells it out right in there because every car is a little different. And let me give you a few examples of electric cars and what they say to do about them. Starting off with the Nissan Leaf. Nissan recommends keeping your car unplugged if it's gonna sit for a long period of time because it'll go into deep sleep mode. That's what it does on the newer cars. And that's really nice because the battery management system will then top up the 12 volt battery for you. And it'll keep it going for a long time like it did with my car. Tesla's different, right? They're always a little different. So what they recommend is keep your car plugged in. I don't have that option at my house. I don't, I can't park it. I don't have a garage, so I can't do that. So I'm glad I got a Nissan Leaf. I don't know what Tesla will do if you keep it unplugged. I'm sure it'll be fine, but they recommend keeping it plugged in because then the battery management system, it'll turn off power from coming into it and won't overload your battery. And it'll just keep the car nice and topped up and ready for you when you get back. Kia Nero, another popular car, says leave your car fully charged, which is different from a lot of standards. Keep it fully charged, and then you can keep it plugged in or unplugged. It doesn't matter. And get this, Mercedes, when you sign up for like their app and their service, they'll even send you a text message if your 12 volt battery starts to get too low. That's a pretty nice feature on these smart cars. Now, BMW, this is kind of interesting with BMW. What they say is that you should expect your car to sit for 14 days if it only has six miles of electric range left. So that's pretty good. Six miles is like a dead battery, right? That's like extremely low, almost like turtle mode in a Nissan Leaf. Probably is turtle mode. So that's nice that you can still leave it for 14 days. It kind of gives you a good judge of how long these batteries last. Hyundai, another popular one, says don't worry about a thing. Keep it unplugged, keep it plugged in, don't worry about it. You can leave it as long as you like. 
All right, so my car started up, no problem, my Nissan Leaf. What will your car do? Read the owner's manual, see what it recommends for long-term storage, because there's a lot of factors at play when it comes into long-term storage, even like temperature, how it's stored, and what the battery will do, what kind of systems are going on in the background. So always check your owner's manual in this situation, but I'm telling you, these battery management systems are really smart. But I bet an electric car can sit longer than a traditional combustion engine because you got this large lithium ion battery being run by a smart software that will then even control your 12 volt battery and keep that topped up. Which is a pretty nice deal, right? If you want more tips on owning an electric car, what to expect with an electric car, subscribe to the plug in report. That's my channel. Believe me, you won't regret it. Thanks a lot.